So good afternoon, everybody, and a very, very warm welcome to the Lyceum's annual Meet the Heads. It's slightly different this year. We would normally have canapes and something nice to drink, and we would be sitting and enjoying each other's company and having a nice chat. Um, this is our first ever webinar. So if there are technical problems, um, please just bear with us and come back into this room. I think we're going to be all right. So this is an event for parents to just get a feel of all the wonderful senior schools that are out there. We recommend as a school that you don't just pigeonhole your child and say, I want them to go to the same school that grandpa did, or they've absolutely got to go to this school because it's on the dinner party set. We are going to show you tonight a wonderful selection of different options for your child. And tonight we've got 10 schools. Next week we have another 10. We have Seven Oaks, Jags, UCS, Allens, Highgate, Northbridge House, the American School, Radnor House and City Girls. And you might ask why so many schools? Well, from the Lyceum, where we are in the city, we, our children actually go to a lot of different schools. So our 12 children this year have had 47 offers from 26 different schools and five of those were scholarships. So our, our 11 plus exit is um, extremely impressive, but also our children will be going, three of them are going to boarding schools this year. Uh, the children are spreading right out across London for their senior schools. So it's really important that you as a parent, and I'm hoping we've got some pupils here as well, that you're looking at these schools with a completely fresh eye and think this might be the school for my child because every school is unique and every child is unique. And what's important when you're selecting a school for your child is to make the right fit. So tonight we're going to have five minute presentations from a, an array of fantastic schools. We have connections with all of these schools and we want you to listen to the presentations. If you have questions, we have, um, Chloe has very, very kindly sent you links to their school websites and to their registrars. So if you have individual questions, we'd like you to send them straight to those registrars. If you miss anything, you don't have to take notes because we're actually filming this. And this will be going out to a lot of Duke's other schools as well, London schools. So you'll be able to go back in and replay as many times as you like for those schools that you're interested in. And um, panelists will be um, keeping themselves muted until they're speaking. And um, we're just really lucky to have these amazing people on the screen with us tonight. So a huge thank you to these very, very busy people. I know how busy you are. Um, it's a really tough time for you to come and, uh, and speak to us. I think the wonders of Zoom have meant that you can all come at this time at the same time. Um, it would normally be very difficult to get all, this, all these heads um, coming at the same time. Anyway, we'd love to hear from you. If you've got any further questions, parents, as I say, um, email the, the schools directly. We're going to start with City of London School. We're going to start with Mr. Philip Marshall. Um, Philip, over to you and let's hear a little bit about City of London, boys, over to you. Thank you, Hilary. Um, yes, thank you for that, for that, that really nice welcome, um, you know, to the event and sort of, no, I suppose no pressure on me, uh, you know, first webinar, first speaker. Um, I feel slightly guilty, you know, coming to a, a meet the heads event and not actually being the, the head of the school. Um, but I, I'm the director of admissions uh, here at City of London School, so it's a, it's a pleasure to, to be here this afternoon to, to say just a few words to you. Um, a little bit briefly about sort of my background. I've been at the school now for 15, 16 years. Uh, started as a geography teacher uh, and have uh, you know done a variety of different roles within the school. And I think that has given me and indeed a lot of my colleagues, you know, a lot of experience within the school. We we understand what. What, what makes this place tick? So obviously I could spend hours talking to you about, uh, about the City of London School, about our pupils, our values, uh, our ethos, but I want to focus in on you know, just two or three you know, sort of key ideas. And these are what form the, the basis of our, our strategic vision. And we launched this a couple of years ago. 
Um, and I remember attending a, an, an evening at the Lyceum School, actually. It was their opening of the new building uh, a couple of years ago. We, we, we just brought this new plan, uh, you know, to the fore. Um, and I remember talking about it actually for the very first time in front of, in front of your audiences. And it's interesting how, actually, now I really feel like we're living it. And the first one of those things is about kindness. Um, and the events of the last 12 months and, and indeed the last week in particular, you know, I think have really demonstrated the importance of this, you know, very basic human value, the importance of caring for each other's as much as we do ourselves. And it was a very intentional decision back in 2019 to put this at the top of our list uh, of, of characteristics where we push ourselves to develop our, our excellent pastoral care, to develop the pupil's resilience and self-confidence, alongside, of course, celebrating all, the, all their achievements through what is for every pupil, and, uh, and I'm glad Mrs. White really talked about this, what is a unique journey. Um, we go through, lots of people go to the, the same school, but the journey is and must be and should be, you know, unique for, for every child. The second one of our little strands is all about awareness. And that is a, a conscious acknowledgement of strength in difference. And again, something that is very topical and very, you know, very much on many of our minds outside of education. You know, it's something that we as adults and indeed residents of this, of this wonderful city that we are, are often intrinsically aware of. You know, the value that uh, we can, that, that it can provide our pupils in terms of improving their understanding of the world. It allows our pupils to appreciate their responsibility and the difference that they can make both within this school, but also within their, within their wider communities. And a big part of that for us has been our work uh, with our, our, our family of schools within the, the City of London Corporation, but also our, our, our vast array, array of partnerships with other schools, businesses and organisations across London. The third thing is all about being ready. And that is really for whatever comes next. Um, and, you know, we, we can't hear, we can't as educators sit here, you know, today and say, right, well, for, for an eight-year-old or a nine-year-old, we know exactly what is going to come next. Um, we know what the next school will be, or what it might want to be, but we don't know what these careers are going to be. We don't know what the options are going to be further down the line. So it's about making sure that whatever we are doing during this educational journey allows these children to be ready for whatever comes next. And that might be something that we've not even thought about today yet something we haven't even imagined and um, it's a journey and it's allowing people to be to be to bring kindness respect curiosity to these people who are going to be the leaders uh, in, you know, in in later into the into the 21st century so i hope if these sorts of things resonate with you that city london school might be you know something an, an option for you to consider for your for your child as, as for his senior school um, and obviously that's something we'd, we'd welcome to, we, we'd love to hear from you about. All of our information is available on the website. Um, at 11 plus, we do a, a, at the moment a pretty standard uh, route of application uh, with our own examinations in maths and English um, just before Christmas of year six and then moving on to, to interview in, in, in January. Um, we've obviously done things a little bit differently this year. And there are, there are lessons to be learned from, from the process, I think, um, and things that I, I'm sure all, all, of the, all of the schools here will say, uh, you know, actually lessons to be learned that are really positive uh, from our experience of the admissions process through, uh, through COVID. Um, our open events at the moment, you know, one of the things I always say about these events is, you know, the best thing to do is to come and see us, to come and, to come and meet us. And of course, I'm conscious that, you know, we've not been able to do that now for so long. Whilst we're obviously very hopeful that that will become something that we can do uh, you know, over the coming months uh, later on into the year. We've just been very sort of careful, very careful about it, um, you know, to ensure that we can do it in a secure way, but also in a way that makes families and their, and their children comfortable with that idea of, of mixing and things like that. So we haven't committed ourselves to any definite plans for, for the autumn term yet, but they are, they are on our mind. So as I say, the, uh, the, the website is the first port of call for the information, and I know you've been... Um, sent in the, the details of our registrar, uh, Vanessa Haley, as well. So please just drop her a line, drop her an email, uh, and uh, we look forward to hearing from many of you uh, and indeed meeting you in due course. Hilary. Philip, thank you. That was exactly five minutes. <laughs> I think you get the gold star for precision. <laughs> exactly. Wonderful.